it was great to be back. You know, we, we uh, you know, I think everybody enjoys uh, getting the opportunity to step away for a couple of days and, you know, maybe touch base with family a little bit more, or, you know, do some things you ordinarily wouldn't get to do. But, you know, I think guys are pretty excited to see each other again, get back to work. And, um, you know, we have a, uh, a good week ahead of us with uh, two part of the teams coming in and uh, it's back to work. And of course, you see where other teams are adding to their roster, like Dallas. Luke is down now for an indefinite period of time. Does this mean that the Lakers are going to have to look for a move? No, I, I don't think so, personally. Uh, you know, we, we've always believed since the day training camp opened that we had, uh, you know, 13 guys that all can play and all at times deserve to play. Uh, so when one guy goes down, you know, other guys step up and, uh, you know, fill in and get the job done. We're confident in Adam and, you know, Ron and Lamar, those guys that play their forward position in minutes that maybe Luke would play. And uh, we're going to keep this thing moving forward. And uh, we'll, we'll be excited to get Luke back, hopefully, in a couple weeks. In years past, this is always a time where, where championship Laker teams really kind of build momentum heading into that uh, playoffs. Derek, what's priority one for this team over the next final 28 games of the regular season? Um, you know, I, I think it's going to be in stages for us. And even though it's, it's close, you know, I think eight weeks are going to go fast. But I think still for us, the first stage is just getting healthy. You know, uh, with Luke out and, you know, Kobe's still probably a little bit unstable and not really sure where he is until he gets back and plays some games. And, you know, Andrew still has some bumps and bruises going into the break. So I think that's our first step. Uh, from there, we get everybody healthy. Uh, it's really about getting back to uh, really being aggressive and, uh, high energy on the defensive end and really just making it a nightmare for teams to score points. And I think if we concentrate on those things, we'll, we'll start to see that momentum build. You know, in those last three games before the break, you know, a lot of focus was on the different people that were scoring while Kobe and Andrew were out. But it was the defense. You know, I think we held um, you know, Portland, Utah, and San Antonio to 90 points or maybe less. And that's where we won those games. So we'll have to keep that up. So with, with the way you played the last three games without Kobe, well, that will mean now you will want to hold your team to a higher level of performance now. Well, yeah, the, the, the key will be for us to, you know, try and continue to do the things we were doing while uh, Kobe was out and Andrew were out, uh, but recognizing that those are two of our featured guys. So uh, we'll have to make sure that we're utilizing them, take advantage uh, of, of their matchups and the guys they're playing against. Uh, but the, the rest of us, you know, three or four guys that are out there on the floor, you know, we still have to move, keep the ball moving. And, and like I said, most importantly, it's really about their defensive intensity that really seemed to be uh, better in those three games. And, you know, we, we always have known that that comes from a lot of good ball movement on the offensive end. And when all five guys are feeling involved, excited about the game, that energy transfers to defense. And, uh, you know, Kobe and Andrew are committed to that. And, I think we all recognize what time in the season it is. And of course, you know, you have other issues to deal with, like when you were at the All-Star game, like the new collective bargaining agreement, which is looming. I mean, it's it's here on us now. Yeah, I mean, that's a, a part of my responsibility as president of our Players Association, but uh, it, it has never and will never take away from you know my focus and what my commitment is here with my team and with the Lakers. And, you know, that's something that will get taken care of over time. Uh, for me, it's always been about basketball, and we'll get to you know some of the business of basketball as time goes on. Derek, even though there are still injuries as an issue, how much do you think the break at least helps a little bit in that regard? Well, hopefully, uh, you know, Kobe got a chance to get off, you know, his feet, quote unquote. I mean, I think those they keep the All Star guys pretty busy, uh, right. you know, with their commitments and community stuff and media and all those things. But uh, you know. I think it's approaching a couple, two, three weeks now since he's really had to, you know, push himself. So maybe that rest will help him. You know, Andrew sat out the last couple of games. You know, hopefully uh, he was able to get uh, a little bit of legs and everything under his belt. And um, you know, that, that's like I said, that's really the key. You know, we can we can play well like we did before the break, and we can have some great games. Uh, but until it's all together and we're playing well with everybody. You know, it's, it's still going to be hard to just automatically say, you know, we're ready to win another championship. So we have a lot of work ahead of us, but I, I think we're up to the task.